What was the one thing I said that I didn't want? A guy to be what? A model. Don't you guys have, like, a nice doctor for me? Why are you having a bone to pick with us when you chose to go on a second date with a model? So explain that to me. That's the bit that I'm, that's really fucking with me right now. I feel really embarrassed. I've said yes to Jack. But bottom line, Nadia and Eden shouldn't be inviting guys that are wrong for me to these mixers. The bit I'm struggling is, is that somebody's job defines them. Because What's your job? I get it. I'm on Made in Chelsea, and if a guy said to me, oh, I don't want to date you, you're on Made in Chelsea, I get that. But I'm here because everyone that I've ever dated cares about being famous more. I don't, I don't trust these guys. So it does define them. <sighs> Fuck you guys. I'm all upset. From Jack's point of view, he's clearly into you. <laughs> I mean, he's doing everything he possibly can to win you over. And you're going, you're going on a date with him, I don't want to see you again, let's not go on another date. Can you imagine what a head fuck that is? Imagine if that was you. He's put a lot of effort into this date, a lot. And it's his head, you said to him, I'm going to give you another chance. I think you have to allow him to at least try and win you over or let him in a little. And if you come in these doors and go, Eden, never again, I go, fine. I promise you. But then do not go back on that. Because if you come to us and say never again, if he's ever there again, you need to not ever again. I get what they're saying, but it's just so hard to reject someone in person. Jack bollocking out the way, the agents have something else to raise with Steph. So, I've got a question that the son have asked you on Twitter, and it's the same question. Have you got anything to tell us? No. I've hung out with Joey twice. Who was talking about Joey? Speak of the devil. Hello, celebrity dating agency. Oh, yo, Tom, what are you saying? Let me in the door. Hey. The waiting room's getting busy today. Oh. Is Joey somebody you want to go out with? No. Don't buy that 100%. He's skinnier than me. That's why you're attracted he says, to him. He says, I ain't, when it's, I haven't. <laughs> he takes selfies. Which is why you're drawn to him. And if you are seeing Joey, then see it from our point of view. The Jack thing is the perfect distraction. I don't know, I'm confused. I'm just gonna go with it and give Jack another chance. But I've gotta be honest, I really don't wanna do this. Who's that coming downstairs? Come in here, come in here. I ain't just seen... got in so oh much God. trouble. God. I ain't seen you in ages. I know. It's I haven't and you're lying. What have they said? Um, you lied. Well, they got really mad at me for asking Jack out again. And then they're like, also, we feel like this is a really good, like, distraction because we think you and Joey are dating. <laughs> People are sensing chemistry. Well, do you know what maybe my we just look good, Maybe we just look really good together, but we, we can't help that. Doesn't mean we fancy each other. I mean, I'm not going to lie, she's a soul. This agency, our raison d'etre here, is to find love. And if you find love with each other... Oh, my God, I'm not even... It doesn't matter. <laughs> Tom, Joey, see you guys later. I don't know, why does she walk out? Because I jumped the gun by saying love. But she can't be in love yet. Not with me, not yet. Does anyone else feel really awkward for that girl waiting in reception? I mean, I love Joey. He's just terribly lovable. Wait, do we go chase her for you? Like well, why don't you? That would be very romantic. Go, go, go. You might lose her. Get a move on, Joey. Yes, I have <laughs> a tattoo on my vagina. <laughs> but no one's going to see that because all of my dates have been shit. So we're good.